breaking news right now in Denver. Five people have been shot on East Colfax and Verbena Street. One person is dead and four others are in the hospital. Dozens of police responding and East Colfax is shut down. Our Kelly Worthman got on the scene right away. Kelly, what was it looking like? What is it looking like now? Well, McKelly, there's still quite a few police officers here. This is going to be an active investigation for quite some time. As you mentioned, the eastbound lanes of Colfax are still closed right now. They have opened up the westbound lanes. They did so just a few minutes ago. But let's go ahead and recap to you what exactly has, is happening here and happened here just a few hours ago. Denver police say that one man was shot and killed. Four others are in the hospital right now. They were also shot. Two women and uh, two men. Three of them are in critical condition. Denver police got the alert at about 10 to 2 o'clock this afternoon, and they got the alert from Shot Spotter, which is that technology that they use when gunshots are fired, they're alerted right away. It happened in about the 1400 block of Verbena Street. They, told, they are told through their preliminary investigation, and officers are, that three people were in a Mazda going northbound on Verbena, and they came upon a group of of people standing on the sidewalk and for no reason that they know right now they began firing into that group again shooting all five people killing one man at this point it's not clear what the motive is it's not clear if this group was targeted for any reason but the group the, of suspects did take off in that Mazda and left the car at about 12th and Yosemite according to police and that's when they got into another SUV they did not say if this was a carjacking it didn't believe to be this vehicle is at least known uh, to those suspects. So let's take a closer look at that. This is the picture that Denver police have shared with us of the vehicle they believe the suspects are in or might still be in or have at least used at some point in this shooting. They don't know the exact make or model, but they do want anybody who might know that vehicle, know anything about this investigation that may help officers and detectives to give Crime Stoppers a call. We've been talking to witnesses here at the scene. Some of them are very shaken up. Many of them say that crime is just obviously on the rise here, especially in this East Colfax corridor. Um, but, you know, right now, officers really just trying to get more information from those witnesses so that they can get give us that information then to share with you of who they're looking for. But right now, they believe three suspects were involved in this shooting earlier this afternoon. We'll have another update for you coming up at 5. For now, we're live in Denver. I'm Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Uh, Kelly, hopefully that suspect vehicle, will, uh, somebody will I'll recognize, recognize it, it and yeah. call police right in. Mm -hmm. All right, Kelly, thank you. We'll see you again at 5 o'clock. And we will, of course, continue to update this breaking news for you on CBS News Colorado all evening. You can download our free 24-hour streaming network on CBS News app or if you're at home, free on our Pluto TV. 